What's going on guys? I hope that you're all having a wonderful day today. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Ty and today in this video, I cannot believe I'm even saying this, but we're going to be reviewing Deadpool and Wolverine, which is literally my most anticipated film of the past couple of years, probably since Spider-Man No Way Home. But guys, did it live up to the hype? All these videos that I've been making about it, all this time that I've spent thinking about this movie, was it worth it? Let's dive into it in a second, but first I have something to show you guys. Oh yeah, baby, check it out. And also... My girlfriend was wearing the other half with Deadpool. Let's go. Let's dive into this review. Make sure you guys stick around to the end of this video to see my rating of the film. As excited as I've been for this movie, like head over heels, if you guys have watched my videos, you know what I'm talking about here. I've just got to bring up two quick things. First of all, I just got out of the movie like 45 minutes or an hour ago, so I'm still processing things because, you know, this is a very dense movie. And the second thing is that tomorrow night I'm going to watch it again to kind of lock in my thoughts. But what are my thoughts on Deadpool and Wolverine? This movie is great. I thought it was an absolute blast, but I need to be honest with you. It is not perfect. It definitely does have some issues, but I can confidently say that I am not disappointed with the film whatsoever. It is absolutely great. Let's get into the positives. Honestly, I feel like we didn't really know the plot going into this movie, but wow, it definitely gets pretty interesting with the things that it dives into here. Oh my God, the jokes that are told in this film are like mind blowing. I cannot believe the stuff that they got away with in this film. It's just absolutely unbelievable. Whether it's stuff about Disney or stuff about characters or other companies or other celebrities, it's wild. It's just as Deadpool as you thought it would be. Speaking of that, they did not hold back with the R rating in the slightest. In fact, this might be like the most R-rated Deadpool movie that we've gotten yet. Like, yes, in the first Deadpool movie, there's like a sex scene. Okay. But besides that, if we're talking strictly violence, cursing, this is easily the worst one in my opinion. It is crazy. It does not hold back. It's almost like NC-17 level gore. Crazy stuff. You see everything. Moving on from there, Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds together. God, what a combo. It's just such a wonderful time watching them on screen, banter with each other, having more heartfelt moments and having moments where they literally want to kill each other. And listen, man, the surprises, right? The cameos. Of course, this is a spoiler free review, so I'm not diving into a single detail, but I've got to say they were great. I have some issues with some of them, which I will dive into in a second. But oh my god, they actually feel like they're made for the story. They're not just thrown in there just to show some faces. Don't get me wrong, some of them are, but they still make sense in the context of what's going on. It doesn't feel like, oh, we just wanted to throw out a you know, cameo in here. It kind of does fit into the story. And of course, they definitely wanted to put cameos in here because they want to have fun with them. But it's just the point of, oh, it makes sense why this is here or why this character is here. It's not just randomly shoehorned in there. It has context to it. Listen, I don't want to jump the gun here, but I just want to dive into some negatives before I get back into the positives. One negative that just kind of stuck out to me, honestly, I feel like this is a problem that Marvel is just never going to get over at this point, and I don't even know what they're going to do, is the CGI. Sometimes it looks phenomenal. It looks sick, but other times, oh my God, it just looks so awkward and weird. Not even just like character movements, but even settings. Like when characters are standing on a street, I can easily tell that this entire block is like fake and it looks pretty rough. Even some of the character movements honestly don't look that good. Some of the helmets on some characters look a bit off. I'm just going to be real with you. It did take me out of the movie a little bit and don't get me wrong. Some of the CGI is phenomenal. It's still obviously a $200 million movie, but at a certain point, I'm kind of just like, damn, why does this look so bad? Or why does this look so rough? Talking about, you know, specific little parts that again, did kind of take me out of the movie. Another thing that again, I just kind of need to solidify with a second watch and also like sleep on. Cause again, I just finished this movie. I feel like this movie is trying to do so much. And I think for the most part, it succeeds. But there's some stuff that unfortunately gets pretty underdeveloped, which is okay. Because again, they hit a home run on so many things. But it feels like some things were not, I don't want to say a swing and a miss, but they were kind of just a single. But at the end of the day, I feel like from a storytelling level, they did definitely like cover all the plot points. Don't get me wrong. There aren't like any major plot holes. There's just some things that are a little bit underdeveloped. Speaking of the underdeveloped things though, this is the one thing that I do want to dive into because there was this whole conversation about whether or not this movie is going to be a Deadpool film or if now that Wolverine's in here, it's going to take away from it. It's just going to be a multiversal story. 
I feel like, honestly, a bit of the Deadpool flavor does get lost in here, and I'm not talking about the jokes, and I'm not talking about the violence, because that's all there. But I feel like at the end of the day, these Deadpool movies have heart to them. They have a background to them, like his love for Vanessa. And it's like they lightly tease that in this movie, but they should have pushed it further. And by the end of it, I was kind of just like, hmm, kind of wish they dove a little bit deeper into that with both the personal side of Wolverine and the personal side of Deadpool. But they definitely did cover their bases again. But it just doesn't feel like they went as far as they should have. But listen, going back onto the positives here, there are just so many oh my god scenes in this film like the intro is like mind-blowing it's insane i was not expecting it at all they changed so much from the trailers by the way and the trailers again really don't show you that much they show you like basically nothing i feel like this movie is just such an incredible time at the theaters such a good comic book film too there are so many moments where i literally was gasping for air over how funny some of these jokes were not just because oh they're super edgy or you know they're cursing a lot because they're very clever and they're very creative also there's actually some setup in here which i really liked and some running gags that go throughout the film it's hysterical and even hugh jackman as wolverine he's being very funny is this his best as wolverine no i think that's either like logan or maybe days of futures past but it doesn't matter because we're still getting a very good wolverine in here we're getting to see wolverine and deadpool together emma corin as cassandra nova very, very interesting villain that, again, maybe could have used a bit more screen time or a bit more depth to her, I should say. But regardless, it was really cool to see her. She's threatening. When she's on screen, it's like, uh-oh, we're in trouble. You know what I mean? It was just such a great time. And again, I feel like I need to just lock in my thoughts with a second viewing, which is pretty rare for me. But I'm going to be posting a longer spoiler discussion soon. Like, probably tomorrow, the day after this video drops. So just wait for that. But... At the end of the day, Deadpool and Wolverine absolutely won me over. I really, really enjoyed this film. A lot of people were complaining about like the color grading and stuff in the trailers. I've got to say, everything in this film is super vibrant. It pops. Sean Levy, his style throughout this film is actually seen. It feels like there was actually a director in here, whether it's the camera work on the action, which is unbelievably good, like noticeably good. I'm talking like John Wick level. Sick. Or it's even just the more intimate moments where you have some softer lighting, characters are just having conversations with each other. He really did his thing with this. The script is pretty tight when it comes to the dialogue, again, with these gags and with these little gimmicks that they're doing here. And to be completely honest with you, this is a very hard movie to talk about without even talking about the lightest of spoilers, but I really don't want to say anything. So I'm sorry if this isn't my best review, even though I've been super excited for this movie, but I'm going to be going way in depth on my other video but yeah a bit hard to talk about it but at the end of the day what's my rating for this film see i was going into it saying oh my god it's gonna be five stars and i'll be honest with you i don't think it is five stars i don't think it's two stars i think that at this point in time and this rating could change literally tomorrow when i just watch the film for a second time i'm gonna go with a conservative four out of five stars really enjoyed this film again that could change to a four and a half tomorrow or it'll just lock in my four but regardless this is a wonderful film again i don't want you guys to think i'm disappointed because i only only gave it four out of five stars i'm telling you this is a great film it's just a lot to take in on that first watch because oh my god i'm worrying about the cameos that are showing up and all this crazy stuff that's going on because there's just so many wonderful jaw-dropping scenes in here that honestly it's hard to process especially when you're recording about an hour after but that's just how my schedule works so i had to record right now but guys Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this review lived up to the hype, but even if it doesn't, we're going into spoilers again tomorrow. So you guys better be there or be square. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.